guys, welcome to the Savvy Man Show with me, your host Sean. If you find any entertainment in today's video, don't forget to smash that lovely like button. If you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and bell notification. Uh, hitting the like button helps with the YouTube algorithm and get the video out to more people. If you're looking for a platform on which to uh, buy the shares, which is totally free, don't forget to look in the links in the description below. You get a free share for signing up and depositing a small amount. Now one more to show. So we start with looking back on the stocks I put down the watch last week. Bank OZK. Now you will see that it's gone up for thirty percent on Friday, and it's gone up one hundred and ten percent since I said to watch it. Now. Uh, sorry, what am I saying? What am I saying? No. So it's, forgive me, it hasn't gone up that much. It's gone up 11.9%. I would have loved it if it had gone up 110%. Uh, again, it's a bit volatile because it adds a beta of two. But then a lot of bank stocks are volatile at the moment. But it has a 4%. Dividend. Now, on to the next one. CMLS. This is the one that went up 30% on Friday and 110% since it got here. I bought in that free and I think it's going to be worth between 15 to $18. Dollars. I think there will be a bit of a pullback. So, uh, I'm not selling all of it. I've sold half of it, my position, so that I can, uh, if there's a pullback, I can buy it back in. And I've covered my position. Anything else now is just gravy, as they say. And we go on to the next one. So about that, we go on to NVEE, which we bought in at 50, it's now 53, and we'll see here, and I think it's going to be worth 90, and it could be, and this is without the news that's come out recently that Washington is saying they want to look at their infrastructure and they want to put two trillion dollars into doing a whole new infrastructure saying when the interest rates are zero. zero. I'm going to bring a bill. Now you imagine this company will skyrocket from it would be worth $90 even if this bill doesn't go through. Anyway, sorry Donald for putting my face over yours. Now the next one was ASPS, ticket symbol ASPS, Altis, Altis and that was a real estate company, and it went up a small percent, but again. Uh, went up I I sold purely because I have so many 
real estate. I didn't want to sell, but my portfolio wouldn't be diverse enough to tell if I didn't. And because of the stocks I'm looking at. Now, I've already done a video of the stocks I'm buying. Now we're looking at some stocks we I'm looking at over the next week. Now that we have DXC technology. Now I think this could be worth forty dollars. And it's not a dividend paying one. They will have their earnings in August and you need to do your own due diligence but they have had a corporate in incident but that is why you get uh, it so cheap. Now people are saying it should be a dividend. Tell the truth, I prefer there not to be a dividend. Would you rather it grow like Facebook? Will there be a dividend? I'd rather there not be a dividend and a company like this grow. Uh, and the next one is going to be ESNT. Now, the only reason that's prevented me getting in here is, and I wish I did, at $30 is that I'm already exposed to private mortgage equity with OZ, OZK, you know, Bancor and m and Bank, you know, so, and Barclays. So, but it gives a 1.8% dividend. And I think... This could be worth over $80. Uh, it's beta. The beta should be under 1. But it's 1 1.5. But considering the sector it's in. Uh, which is. A private mortgage group. It's going to be that way. And if. We end up finding a lot of people. Uh, in, we find ourselves. In another crash, another recession, people unable to uh, pay their mortgage, which we may do. This is something that uh, may do well. It is what it is. Someone has to profit somewhere. Now, the last one is one I've mentioned before, and I do own stocks in it. GSK. And GSK on the London Stock Exchange. This is the difference in price between New York and London. £16.37 and $41 on the New York Stock Exchange. Exchange. What a crazy exchange rate. I wish I got $40 for every £16 when I'm going to America. I tell you. Now, this is worth £30. According to Simply Wall Street, according to if you break down the company, its pipeline and its assets, it won't get to £30 a share. Simply because as soon as it hits the £22 mark, everyone sells. It's the way it goes. It doesn't seem to get above £22. But in saying that, now everything is overvalued, so you don't know what's going to happen. This has been got hitting around the 1650 uh, and 16.80 mark. Now it's, it's dropping. So 1637. I'll pick some up, and if it drops any more, I'll be looking to pick some up more up. I picked some up at 1450, which is right near the bottom, and so glad I did. But the thing about these is 
they are looking at going to the COVID-19, but they are not looking at going to the vaccine race because they realise going up against the likes of Merck is insane. Going up against Moderna, I'm thinking, well, US government have already given a contract to Moderna to buy all their vaccines, so they're not going to buy any off of us. They've already bought them off of Moderna and AstraZeneca. So who's going to buy our vaccine if we develop it? So what have they done? They've been smart. They've developed, they're developing a booster. So any vaccine that comes out, is going to need a booster shot. Because it's not going to last. Uh, they don't think it's going to last so long, so they will need a booster shot. So that's what these guys are working on. So that as soon as the vaccine comes out, you can have a booster shot It'll come out as well. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments box. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.